What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics and happy Annie Monday. And today I'm gonna be doing another anime character drawing. So let's jump right into it. So this time around I'm gonna start off with the mannequin style way how I draw and the shapes really do come in handy so it's gonna be a quick little sketch here of my character I'm gonna have her be sitting down on her knees um, but it's very simple very easily to do um, you know the bowling pins the Dorito the oranges the fruits they really do help out a lot I made a tutorial where I made a person almost entirely out of food and then sketched over it afterwards and it came out really nicely it came out to be this really amazing image and um yeah pretty much that's always too when it comes to these mannequin images you just really got to make all the shapes and things you can see that these legs look like cylinders or bowling pins drumsticks uh, fruits and vegetables and things like that and so it's very easy for anyone to create anything and when it comes to the torso i always say this in my videos but like a giant guitar pick or giant Dorito uh, depending on your character if she's wider or skinnier you can make it wider and skinnier and uh, it's very easy to just do that with your character it really helps out when you're drawing anime or if you're trying to draw realism if you ever took figure drawing then that you would be schooled on how to do this you'd be told that this is the method to do it just to get it started and then you just go over and erase uh, the, the sketching details and then you add into the finalized details so during a creation process when you're just sketching out the skeleton it is perfectly okay to make certain parts of the body unproportionate and look really goofy and weird because you're just messing around getting a feel for the body and just sketching it out for example my character's breasts i made them kind of big you know big old basketball because you know that's how we do it we like kind of big here and uh, stuff like that and for my own personal experience when i'm making heads I use like a big giant circle when i make my head because it's very simple i don't usually ever use guides but for anime it's a bit more difficult for me when making the heads because it's not a realistic head so i have to do things a little bit out of my own comfort zone but if you guys happen to find a way that you guys like more then please proceed and do it but usually i like to just draw like a big giant circle on my character and just have fun with it for the head um but that may not work for you but that works for me but yeah um, anime's always been a bit challenging but uh when it comes to the hair realistically just have some fun and don't get too crazy because drawing hair can become very extreme very fast depending how like spiky you want it or how streamlined you want it uh realistically it's on your own personal opinion on how you want your hair to be done but you can do a lot of crazy things but let's move on to the second phase and that's going to be putting in the clothing now this part depending on your character can be either very easy or very difficult for my character an example on this one most of her clothing is pretty skin tight so i don't have to draw too many extremities on her body just a couple things here and there that may stick out that just looks really nicely but it really depends on what you want to draw for clothing usually now women you know you can usually draw like short shirts skirts uh, leggings and you know regular pair of shoes or boots uh, maybe a crop top something like that those are usually the things that you see most times with an anime character anime women if you're not drawing like a regular school girl school girl woman uh, if you're drawing something that might be a little bit more futuristic like what i'm doing here where she's wearing these weird looking rocky boots then yeah and uh it's okay to experiment with your drawing for example me i am personally not really good at drawing feet and hands and so you're gonna see that my boots look kind of funky look like moon boots and that's exactly where i got my inspiration i was looking at images of moon boots because i thought what the heck and her hand uh, that's in the air uh i really messed up on her fingers because it's one of the hardest things to draw if, if you can draw hands in a really nice way in a really nice fashion then you're an excellent artist but uh do not be afraid to experiment with the parts of the clothing like i said earlier um, i'm gonna have my girl wearing sh uh, short jeans or rolled up jeans if you will and it's gonna look really cool uh, i almost thought about giving her overalls in a way but i said no but just really practice with it and experiment with your clothing uh, just because you can do so many different types of things if you're drawing like a regular clothed person like mine or if you're gonna do like a schoolgirl, or if you're gonna do like someone in uh, like armor crusaders or you know spaceships and things or helmets and things like that or superheroes then you know it can vary on how skin tight you want the clothing to be and if you're someone who actually has a good ground on drawing anime already but you just can't figure out the poses or you need help with the body figures uh i cannot stress this enough but go to google and type in uh real life anime poses and you'll find people 
with, with stock photos of people doing anime poses if you can't figure it out and then what you can do is then you, you can just uh, sketch what they look like have the image to decide and then you can just practice up on how to do it and you'll figure out how to get the body position down a little bit better every time you try doing it and I cannot stress this enough do that having a reference really does help you make a solid image and just sketching it out now if you are creating anime characters manga characters in adobe illustrator and you're at the point where i'm at do not be afraid to adjust things if you want to make certain parts of the body a little bit more uh, voluptuous then go ahead and do it it's really easy to edit things before you start doing the, the line art phase and just really just take your time with it and don't rush it because you never know what's going to happen but we are now coming to a closer of my video. Uh, pretty much all I got left for the video is the line art and the uh, the coloring in phase and stuff like that. I'm not really going to do anything for that. If you guys want a separate tutorial on how to do that later, if you guys want my secrets on how to make the best brush ever for your drawing tablet, then you know, like and comment down below. If you let me know, then I'll do something about it. But um, that's pretty much it so i'm gonna speed the video up here in a second and i'm gonna let us play with some music in the background hope you guys enjoy but yeah you know um take your time with it and just have some fun drawing anime is difficult at certain times but it can also be very easily done depending on body position and location of things and stuff like that but yeah uh rate comment subscribe it's your boy diamonds here happy anime monday hope you guys enjoyed the video slap that like button subscribe hit the bell icon for notifications on my next video all that you know who it be your boy out